Hey folks, Dr. Brett Brennan here with Healthy Feet Podiatry. Happy Halloween. Today we're in the OR and we're uh, fixing a broken bone. I felt it was uh, quite appropriate since it is Halloween to uh, take a video of this one. Uh, check back soon. We'll show you some more of the procedure. All right, we're in the OR now fixing that fracture we talked about earlier. We're gonna zoom in on the foot and I'm gonna actually show you the fracture line across this uh, bone. So you can see where it's bleeding here right at the um, tip of the instrument. Uh, that's actually the fracture line. It's oriented coming up this way and then it actually exits out the side of the bone. Pretty much all fractures follow you know, the laws of physics. So they come in a uh, direction. This one probably started here and worked its way down the bone. Um, we'll get this guy clamped together uh, with a screw across it to compress it nice and tight and then we'll put a plate over top of it to protect it so she can wait bare early. All right guys, uh, just at the end of the case here, I just want to show you the uh, hardware we used. We have a little blue screw at the tip of my instrument here that comes actually across the fracture fragment to, to compress it together. And then because this patient needs to wait bare early, we used a plate over top of it. We have one, two, three, and there's a four screw hiding underneath soft tissue up there. This will allow the patient to wait bare approximately 10 to 12 days uh, post-op. We'll close her up and she'll uh, be good as new. If you have any foot or ankle problems, give us a call at Healthy Feet Podiatry. Have a happy and safe Halloween. Thanks, guys.